Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, second vlog. Uh, so last episode was building uh, the legs of my humanoid robot. Um, today um, I'm going to try to attach them to the, to the body. So uh, last episode I focused mainly on building one of the legs. So this with the foot, the knee and the hip completely assembled. I built one leg, uh, meanwhile I also built the second leg and now what I can do is attach them to the main body. So for that I have a few things, so I have these two hip servos, so these are the more powerful XM540s. Um, these will be attached to each other uh, against a hip bracket that is going to attach to the main body. So the main body is this, I already pre-assembled it. Um, the entire robot is going to be powered by an Intel NUC, so I just bought an Intel NUC um, kit um, and yeah ripped the motherboard out of that, put some memory on it, an SSD and um, this is uh, going to be the main uh, driver for the entire robot. Uh, so on the bottom here it's going to be, uh, sorry I'm actually having it upside down, so on the bottom here we're going to have the hip parts, I have a small bit of space for some wiring and on the top we're going to have uh, the servo for the arms and for the head, um, so that's going to be there. Um, so yeah, let's get to that. So we'll start with the hip part and uh, get that first completed. Alright, so we're going to attach these servos to the hip bracket. Let's get that done. So if you look here, so this is the uh, bracket that's going to be attached to the body. So we have two servos, they're already in their uh, mid position. And this bracket goes to the main body itself. On the bottom I have a small reinforcement plate. Uh, that's just to make sure that the servos are having uh, a sturdy construction. So let's get that attached as well. Alright, so servers are quite sturdy and let's attach them to the main body first so this is the back side this is the complete front and this should all fit the camera so for attaching these uh, I'll just use the same type of bolts and, and nuts that I've used before so M3 size should be more than sufficient Alright, so there we have it. So the motors are attached firmly to the main body. Quite a rich construction. This is needed because um, yeah, the arm is going to be attached to this, the head is going to be attached to this. There's going to be quite some weight on the top of the body. Uh, so we need to make sure that this is a sturdy construction. Um, so the next part I want to test before I attach the legs is actually the top part. So I have here a bracket, uh, on this bracket I can attach the three motors, the middle one is going to be the, uh, the one that allows the head to move forward and backward, and the side ones are the ones that allow rotation movement for the arm to go up and down. Um, so let's get those attached as well. Alright, so the wires in, um, so we have the body, on the bottom we have the hip servos, and on the top these servos are going to be attached. So this design is relatively simple, just go to the body like that. And I'll attach that again with the same bolts and nuts I've used before. Alright, so there you have it. So we have the arm servos here, we have the head servo here, we have the hip servos here, and then the interlock in the middle. So um, let me quickly um, put these wires around. So everything is 
properly. So when I stripped the um, Intel NUC, I actually removed the antenna boards, of uh, the, the, the wireless antenna for the Wi-Fi. Um, so I just put it into the main body. Um, so put that somewhere in here. I'm trying to put this a bit in place so that there's sufficient amount of reception for Wi-Fi later on. So the next step is attaching the actual legs. Alright, so for attaching the legs, you directly have to put them with the servo. So in here, the right leg and the left leg. I'll give them a bit out of the picture. Um, so in essence, it's relatively simple. You have to just attach these brackets that are already on the feet here onto the hip surface that we just attached in the previous step. So let's put that in. Alright, that was it for the assembly of the legs. So you can now see this is the actual robot body attached to the legs. So um, as you can also see is that if I would actually just let it go, it will not stand on its own. So it does need to be powered up. So let's try to see if we can actually power up these uh, legs and get the robot doing something. Right, so I've wired up the, uh, the legs. Uh, one of the challenges that I have with this robot is because there's so many servos involved, but also quite powerful ones, that I don't think uh, a single power supply will be enough in terms of amperage. Um, so I put the entire left side of the robot and the right side of the robot on different circuits. So I created my own sort of like hub, dynamics or connected hub. So the leg goes to that hub, uh, the power supply goes to the hub, and then there's a uh, only the data part of the uh, connector is connected to the other hub, which is this one, which also again has its own uh, power part. Uh, and that's actually where the main data controller, the USB controller, is being uh, connected to. So for now, I'll just test this out without the Intel NUC. We'll do that in the next episode. We'll also wire up the um, power control circuitry. Uh, and the, the arms to the top of the robot. So let's for now just test out the, the legs work. Alright, so I've powered up the motor, so we have here these both active. What is very important, right, so what I did here is I made sure that the between the two hubs, the data channels are the only ones that are bridging it, so there's no power connectivity between the two hubs. Um, and then the controller itself um, is also only the data channels so wired to that. So with that said, we'll start launching the software. So I'm using the same software as before. Java, um, so it should automatically detect all the servos. Um, it will do a dynamics of ping so it can see which servos are attached. See, it's detecting all of them, and that should allow me to open the control dashboard. All right, so there we go. So, by default, the motors are still, of course, in torque off mode. So, let's now move this to a more doable 
session. So let's enable that now. Alright, so there we go. So you can see that yeah, I can't hold on the camera, but the entire robot now, including the legs, is completely assembled. Uh, still a bit of wobble between the legs, right? So you can see that there's still a bit of movement that way. I'm sure I can really fix that. So look into that. So there you have it. Entire robot fully on its own power. It's uh, not as sturdy yet as I would want, but that's something we can start working on. Um, for now it's quite rudimentary control but yeah that's it so next episode um, I want to talk a bit about the electronics and specifically so we talk a bit about the NUC how we're gonna use some uh, LiPo batteries to power the entire construction um, and we're gonna also hopefully get to putting the arms uh, on top of it and um, yeah more of that to see in the next episode so see you then